Hi, Phil here from Rich Commerce. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about what the customer photo upload add-on on our platform looks like, right? Let's just see it in, in detail, like go through a return and uh, you can make up your mind um, what you think of the feature. I think it's super neat and we have a ton of merchants on our platform using it, uh, both for business intelligence. So you essentially get a great view of uh, defective products, um, reasons why customers return it like in detail. Customers do not only put in text, but they also like send an image along like, okay, like what is broken about this product, right? Like what is like uh, crushed on this garment? So I think that's that's really helpful. And the second thing is, especially if you're on like higher price products, um, you can, let's just say, filter people to not randomly send your products back, but you can then um, require them to upload the photo or photos and then review those photos before you approve or reject the return, right? I think it gives you a lot more control over the returns process, if that makes sense. But let's just take a look at it. So we have another tutorial on this page where I showed you how you can enable add-ons, right? So the customer photo uploads feature is an add-on. Like not of, a lot of merchants do not require the feature. And on our side, it requires extra resources, for example, like storing all the photos and archiving them and backarping them. So we give you the option to add the add-on. Look out for that tutorial uh, if you don't know how you can upgrade. It's just account, your plan, and then you can add the add-on, right? After you've done this, go to your return settings and reload the page only once. After that, the feature is enabled if it is available on your plan. So you can go down <clears throat> and you will see a new tab turn up and it's called customer photo uploads, right? It says let's customer photo uploads, uh, let customers photos upload photos of their return items. Um, and you have three options. Uh, you can enable it, which you just did. You can make it a requirement, which means a customer cannot proceed through the returns process if they didn't upload a, at least a picture, right? And then you can put in a description text, which I think is very important to get good and accurate photos. Right, so tell the customer exactly, like either why they have to upload the photo or better why and how or what they should capture. Should they capture like the packaging, right? Um, should they capture everything on one picture, like put it on the floor and then just um, like make a photo of it. For example, if they ordered like a lot of products, a lot of small products, should they show the defect, right? Should they show the label or something? Um, really make it clear to the customer what they should photograph and upload because otherwise you will end up with like a vast majority of probably unrelated stuff where you have to email the customer after and say like hey like i cannot see anything on the picture right so make that very clear to the customer i think what is also pretty neat if you say something this helps us process your return faster so the customer like in that sense it's an additional effort for them but like if they knew hey hey i'm gonna get back my money either faster or it's a possible possibility for the company to like exchange a product faster because they know exactly what like the problem is. I think that 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 makes a lot of sense for the customer um, if you can tell them a reason. And it's always good to give someone a reason if even if it's like not a very strong reason, but it's better than just say, "Hey, upload a photo," like end the end, right? Super helpful. So let's just do that. Let's just hit save and let's just look at the process. So show me the return portal. And I created an order, <clears throat> test order. I hope it's the correct, um, hope it's the correct order number. Otherwise I'm gonna get an error, 1156, yes. So the blue tuxedo in small was a little too small, right? So let's just say too small, quantity is one. Um, the classic leather jacket in my hand was amazing, right? We're gonna keep that. So <clears throat> now when we continue, I have enabled here all three options. Obviously you can enable and disable them as you want. Let's just say I wanna get store credit because, oh, well, a store is super great. Let's just, let's just get store credit. And now you see the option over here, upload a photo, right? And like, let's just pretend I as a customer, I do not see that, right? So I click on continue and says, oh no, please upload at least one photo to proceed with your return, right? So let's just do photo one. And I'm gonna just 
for the sake of it, use like a random product, right? So just this jacket over here, I think it's a sample photo from Shopify. So, and let's just do a second one, right? Um, I'm going to use like a completely unrelated picture. Like, let's just use a background here and then another third completely unrelated. Let's just see that, all right? Just to show you afterwards how it looks from the admin dashboard. Right? All right, now we can continue and let's just pretend we want to return it in a local store. Right? And you would then as a customer receive store address, et cetera, via email after you initiated the return, right? as an example. Okay, let's submit that and the return has been created successfully. Now we go back to our merchant dashboard and we go to returns and now you see <clears throat> 1156, um, that's the order. All right, null, null. I didn't give the customer any name, which is probably stupid. So you should, if you do a test order, give your customer a name, for example, your own name, which is uh, pretty helpful, right? So now you have an extra line over here that you do not have on others. Um, you have the line, but it says like no photos uploaded. In this case, if you go there, customer photos, you see show photos, right? So um, what you can do is, let's just, for example, we, in the case we don't auto approve a return, let's just say we put it back to pending, right? And now we have the return and pending. Let's just pretend um, our staff goes through it, right? And now please show me the products, right? You click on products and you get all the products that the customer uploaded, right? So in this case, Obviously the photos don't make any sense, but just pretend photos showing the defect or the products that the customer wants to return um, or anything else that you require. And your staff can go through it, right? Click on close after they decided if they want to approve or reject the return and then can just go to approved, right? Click update and the customer automatically receives the next email sequence that you set under the email settings on the left side, right? So click just update and that's it. It's a super easy way to get more input from the customer and then make it easy and accessible for your staff in a scalable way to review these photos and decide if it makes sense to either approve or reject the return, right? All right. I hope that showed you the customer photo upload feature. Now, if you're interested, um, either upgrade your account, super easy, or if you have any other questions, just hit the help button top right and uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, catch you in the next tutorial. Bye.